So hello and welcome to this week's angling vlog. This week you join me out on the bank and we're in search of pike. This week's vlog is all about sharing a little tip that I use when I want to go out pike fishing on a bit of a budget. There is one bait out there that doesn't cost the earth and you can really use effectively on small venues to catch pike. Before we do get into this week's blog, I just want to say thank you to everybody that has subscribed to the channel and leaves those nice comments. It really is great to read every comment that you guys put on and how much you enjoy the channel. So thank you all very much for the nice comments that you leave and the support you show the channel. It really is appreciated. If you are new around here, my name's Danny and every Friday at six o'clock, we put a new fishing video on the channel. So hit that subscribe button down below for some fishing every Friday at six o'clock. So pike fishing is one of those branches of our sport that really doesn't have to cost the earth. You know, once you've made that initial outlay of getting your rods, reels and line and floats, the basic terminal tackle, as you can see on screen now, I leave that set up week in to week out and just add a trace on the end each time I go. With that, it means the outlay that you have week in, week out is normally new material for your traces. And I'll do a video on the trace material that I use, if that's something you want to see. But also, baits. Baits is an area that you can spend a bit of money, especially if you're picking up the likes of lamprey that can cost over £6 in some places. And the likes of um, smelts that also can be over the £4 mark. When I want to save a bit of money on fishing, there's one bait that I turn to and that is the sardine so with sardines costing about two pound fifty a pack for three i go into my local morrison supermarket and empty the shelf as you can see on screen now i've picked up about 15 sardines for about five pound so one of the downsides with sardines is they are quite soft and if you took that big packet out and opened it they'd soon become spoiled and split if you kept refreezing them to combat this I invested in a vac pack machine and what I do now is split them down into smaller batches of threes and fours. That means that you're only opening three or four at a time and not wasting a lot of the sardines. As you can see on screen now, presented nice like you would get them out of the shop. Protects them from frost burn and they're perfect for when you get out on the bank. Hopefully that just shows the little saving that you can make when you do buy them like that. Get to know your local fishmonger. The guy at my local Morrison's looks at me and just starts emptying the counter. You really can make a saving. Sardines though do have a downside and that is how soft they are. So you've got to pick the right venue to use them on. That's why today you join me on the banks of the local canal. We pick the venue where it's only narrow and there's plenty of cover. So it's all underarm casts, under your feet and to the far bank. So hopefully with the rods in, we can get a pike on the bank. So setup wise, it's the float setup you've seen on a recent vlog and I'll put a link at the top of the screen now. You've got a float stop on the line, two beads. I've got a light pencil float for that sensitivity on the canal. And on the other rod, I've got a 20 gram cordon float. Got a, a lead, quick chain swivel, wire trace, down to the bait. Nice and simple, yet sensitive setup for the canal. Plan is to work both rods and leapfrog along the cover until we find a few pike on the good days you land straight on them though but those days are few and far between sometimes you gotta work the cover and find out where they are but that is the plan the power of the sardine there we go. We keep him in the water, give him a bit of a rest, and then we'll unhook him and take a look at him. So there we go, showing the power of the humble smelt. Rod was in the water probably 20 minutes on that short cast. It is a bait that, if you're not fishing too far out, is an excellent bait to use, most definitely. And yeah, hopefully there's one or two more bites to come today and yeah, hopefully them tips are going to help you out when you're fishing just to save that bit of money where you don't need to spend it. Pike fishing really doesn't have to cost the earth. Bit of an outlay at the start, but little hints and tips along the way will hopefully save some money. It's a beautiful pike and we'll get it straight back. So you've got to be quite careful when you're hooking a sardine. It is a soft bait and I always use frozen baits when I cast them in, so I haven't got an issue with that really, because it's nice and solid when I cast it in. But 
there are things that you can do. Them hooks are semi-barbed, so the barbed point is in the bait, and there's a bone in the root of the tail there where they all meet, and you want to kind of feel a crunch as you put that hook in. The other hook goes down here as tight as possible, and like I say, I always cast the baits in frozen, so I don't have an issue with worrying about defrosting the bait, but I would always recommend that you do use them frozen because they are very soft. But yeah, an excellent bait as you've seen, and let's get it back out. So the sardine back out, I didn't even have time to get the other rod out, and the sardine's gone again. There was no chance of getting the take. And I say, that is how good sardines can be. And what's that? Two sardines and two pike. So, a manic start to the session. Always give him a good rest. He's on up now. And um, we'll leave him there just to recuperate. While we get the camera ready, take a picture of him. You have to make the most of these spells because they can be quite short. Two pike in about the first hour of the session. Happy Danny. So, I'm doing my hardest to get the takes on camera. It is only me and a GoPro most of the time. So, yeah, do try my hardest. So, I went to put the other rod out on a sardine. And I turned around and this was bouncing along. So yeah, two pike, one happy Danny. Let's get it straight back. One of the downsides of fishing in October on the canals is it is still quite warm and the boats are quite active. As you can see on screen now, boats that size going through all the time mean you're reeling in and casting in quite a lot. But don't be too disheartened by boats on canals. Don't get me wrong, if they're coming through every five minutes, it's a nightmare, but if we do get a bit of a lull today, they do add colour to the canal and the pike love that colour because it enables them to hunt and they'll start sniffing out those baits in the canal. They will begin to use their nose rather than their eyes for feeding. So when you start seeing a few boats on the canal, it's not always a disaster. The rods are back out. Hopefully we can get a half an hour window where no more come through and we can see if we can get another pike. But yeah, proper, proper made up. So we've got those two pike on the bank. Conditions wise, we have got quite a bit of blue sky about now, but there is a bit of cloud cover. And hopefully if that sticks about, we can get one or two bites. You know, really is such a big factor this time of year. Not so much in the depths of winter when it's cold because the sun doesn't get that high in the sky. But right now it's still getting over the yard arm and still got a bit of heat. So yeah, hopefully, that cloud sticks about and we get less of that blue sky that is the only downside to a sardine they are quite a soft bait and they don't take many casts time for a fresh one but don't waste them take them home cut them into small pieces and pre-baiting your spots is an excellent tactic on the canal a few questions on this one hooking mat on the videos and it's the xl version of the corum super light fast mat and so as you can see, plenty of room for even jacks and we've had that big 18 pound pike in it as well. Nice sturdy sides, so the fish, you know, it keeps it inside there. And most of all, it packs away nice and small, folds away and really portable for when you're moving along the banks. Because the sardines are soft, it isn't long before you start to see this. Now, pike aren't fussy, they're not humans, they don't eat off a dinner plate. They look at a bait and they're not going, oh, it's got a bit of its side missing, I'm not going to eat it. Remember, it's a dead bait, so it could have been dead a while. Um, I've caught pike on much worse. So as long as the damage isn't too bad, you know, if it's completely gone and there's more hooks than there is bait, then obviously change your bait. But just little bits of damage like that, I have no problems in putting that out as a bait. Change a spot, just place that sardine against another feature, hasn't taken too long to move off again. Not the biggest pike in the world again, but at the start of the season, it's all about just getting bites. So we won't bother holding him up for the camera, only a little jack. Got signs there that there might be a better one in the area, you know. Looks like teeth there, maybe, teeth there. Coming quickly after the move so like i said 
you're not getting action on the canal, it's definitely time to move. If they're about, they'll find it. Let's get him straight back. So there we go, another sardine going out. And it's piking. You can't choose the size of the fish. That's just in the lap of the gods sometimes. But it's about getting bites today. So far, we've had three. And they've all come on the simplest of baits and the cheapest. Hopefully you've enjoyed this week's vlog. If you have, please leave the video a like and subscribe to the channel. Hopefully all the little hints and tips that I do share on the channel are helpful. And in this one, it's going to help you get bank side and just save that little bit of money on a part of fishing that really doesn't have to cost the earth. I want to wish you all tight lines in your own fishing. It'd be great if you could like and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next week. Tight lines.